Hi, I'm Professor Ian Deary. I'm Director of the Lothian Birth Cohorts of 1921 and 1936 and I'm Director of the University of Edinburgh Centre for Cognitive Aging and Cognitive Epidemiology. I got a letter, I think it's for Ian Deary, but I got a letter asking if I would participate in it. All the children in Scotland my age must have went through an exam when they were about 11 or 12. And Scotland is the only country in the world that kept the results. And they got us back to do the exam again. For my... Did you pass the exam the second time? I, I don't know. <laughs> they never told me though, what score. <laughs> I started the Lothian birth cohorts in 1999 when we recruited 550 people born in 1921 to make the Lothian birth cohort of 1921 and we recruited 1,091 people in 2004 to start the Lothian birth cohort of 1936. And the more I understood of what he was doing in the cohort I was absolutely fascinated and hooked and started painting Ian just He'd wanted me to write something and I just said, well, why don't I paint you? That way you'll see how I work. So a friendship and collaboration grew from that. And what are you trying to find out from your study? The Lothian birth cohorts are being used by my team and I to try and find out why some people's brains and thinking skills age better than others. And they've got this unique advantage that is, they all took a mental ability test, an IQ type test, when they were aged 11. And so unlike most other studies of cognitive ageing in the world, we actually know their baseline cognitive scores. And so given that, they've helped us actually to study all different aspects of cognitive ageing. So they give blood for genetics, so we can look at genetic factors. They tell us a lot about their lifestyle. We also look at their health and their fitness and their psychological and social background. So they're just about the most studied individuals in the world with regard to the things that might preserve or help cognitive ageing uh, do better. And what kind of things were they asking you? It was just... <laughs> No, not really hard questions again, just English and counting and different things like that, doing sums and everything like that. Did you enjoy school when you were there? It wasn't a too bad. <laughs> the teachers could be kind of rough sometimes. Where did you go to school? Trinidad. And you still live in Trinidad now? So we, we got to know all sorts of things and he would meet me at the bus stop in Trinent and walk me up home and to his home and they would make soup. So I was, I was very spoiled by lots of the sitters. And it's been about seven years since beginning to, to this point. It's a huge amount of work. Well, it's not been constant, but sometimes I've been in Greece doing other portraits or other, other things. So it, uh, yes, I mean, I'm actually a bit shell-shocked to see it all up.